Hello everybody, this is Mr. Aaron from the White Mountain Library and I'm coming to you with the Wyoming Reads books. Wyoming Reads, of course, is the program where every first grader in the state of Wyoming gets their very own picture book to take home and keep forever and ever 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 until the end of time. And in these videos I'm going to be reading the selections for you so you can decide which one you want to pick. And in this video we will be reading A New Day by Brad Meltzer. Sunday quit. Just like that, she said she was tired of being a day. Do you know how much work it takes to give the world a beautiful free day to play, to pray, to sleep away, or even just to sway in a hammock while eating raspberry sorbet? And then I do it all over again, week after week, year after year, with no pay. With no pay, nice rhyme save. Everyone gets time for their own fun or to catch a matinee, but no one says, how are you? Or even, you okay? The other days were aghast. No day had quit. Well, not since Mars Day, but that was so, so long ago. I want to learn how to water ski and weld and bake the perfect sourdough. I want to take a car apart just to see how it works and learn Italian, no, Sanskrit, like the Buddhists, and master the sugar arts. The sugar arts? Um, I think that means candy. But what will we do now? We can't just lose a day. Everyone be quiet, Monday declared, since Monday loved declaring things. There's only one thing to do. We need to find a new day. Across the land, posters were put up with those little tabs that you can pull off at the bottom. Ooh, teeny pull tabs. Wanted a new day. Must be relaxing, tranquil, chill, though not as chill as Saturday. Healing, blessed, replenishing, quiet, committed, and most important, must be able to give people good dreams and get along with others. Serious inquiries only. Tryouts began the next day. The first prospects were interesting. Please state your name and anything else you'd like the committee to know. I'm Fun Day, where every day is fun! I'm Run Day, every day we run! Speed, zoom! Next! I'm Bun Day, everyone's here! Buns, get it? Mm, I kind of like Bun Day. I'm just glad it's not the other buns. Some ideas were good. We call it Dog Day. Puppies, dogs, everybody gets one. Did I mention the puppies? <laughs> yeah, dude. I vote yes. Puppies for everyone. Puppies would make the week go quicker. Everyone, relax. There are still lots more days to see. Well, out of my way, we're next. Sorry, cat. Job's filled. Well, here's the pitch. Two cats lurk, knowing they're far superior to dogs. We call it Catterday. Meow. Some ideas were bad. I call it Worst Vice President's Day. I'm Elbridge Jerry. Next. Shark Day. Too scary. Also, that needs a whole week. Next. We call it Big Burp Day. Oh, try it, you'll love it! Oh, next! And some days were surprisingly amazing, like the day where everyone gets superpowers. We call it Superhero Day. Cape Day. Fly Day. It sells so much better when you call it Fly Day. Dude, we need more ideas like this. Agreed, I'll post it online. At that moment, Casual Friday had no idea what he had unleashed. 
as word about the tryouts began to spread. Everyone had their own idea for the very best new day. There was pie day. And you get to choose blueberry, pecan, apple, rhubarb, pumpkin, banana cream, key lime, chicken pot pie if it's cold out, or boysenberry. I do love boysenberry. Llama day. Okay, so you carry lots of stuff and you spit all over, but you get great eyelashes. Uh, phew. Uh, nice eyelashes. Band-Aid Day, safety first. Hmm, I do love Band-Aids. And on the seventh day, we declare it... <whistles> Acrobatter Day! Ta-da! And, of course, one of the most popular of all... Candy! This is not a helpful idea! Oh, candy, candy, oh, a play on words. I approve. Well, Catterday will be an easy sell after this. Meow. In no time, the competition grew so intense, some of the contestants snuck back in front of the judges. Have we seen you before? Ah, uh, nope, definitely not. Allow us to present... Dogs who love Frogs Day! They're so cute and squishy! I have to say, I admire the teamwork. Oh, come on! Those are the same dogs as before, but with mustaches! Meow! This isn't fair! When do we get to pitch Catter Day? The cats were right about it being unfair, but as word began to spread, the teamwork was a good thing. It brought together all sorts of combinations, like fire pools sliding into pools of cotton candy day. Mmm, sugary boogery. This must have been made by a master of the sugar arts. Sure, some days caused a bit of craziness, like when unicorns with flashlights for horn day met unicorns with horns for horns day. Horns! Flashlights! Horns! Flashlights! Other days were just impractical, like snowmen in a blizzard eating marshmallows day. And still others were for, were for too small of a niche audience. It's had a day, but just 1920s ones. Caps for sale! Gelatin Suits Day, and some of us have robots in them, because, you know, robots. Boop. Watch me wiggle my ears. Boop, boop, boop. And also, Knights Whose Swords Are Actually Herrings Day. Herrings? Oh, swordfish would have been funnier. My dog smells like corn chips day. Well, that's the same dog. He's just eating corn chips. Well... The madness got even worse when Jazz Day and Naked Mole Ratter Day mixed with Batter Day, giving us Naked Mole Rat Batter Day Skiddly Scat Diddly Dat Batter Day, which was actually pretty absurd since Batter Day got mentioned twice. I'm bat- No! Don't say it! We'll get sued! Stop! 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 Doesn't anyone have a good day? I do. Let me guess. You plant cabbage and want cabbage day. Or eggplants and want eggplant day. Or, 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 oh no, I've got it, bok choy day. No, I simply like growing seeds in pots. And I grew this one for all of you to say thanks. Did you just say thank you? Yes, Miss Sunday. And the day I'd suggest is simply a nice day. A day when people can show more kindness to each other. Sunday would never forget that moment. She'd never forget how the little girl made her feel. And she'd never forget the most important lesson of all. That with a little more kindness in it, every day can be a new day.
So you're not tired anymore? Not anymore, thanks to you. Thank you for saying thank you. I really needed it. For every week after that, Sunday got more time to play and get away. Indeed, all the days joined in and spent some time water skiing and welding and baking the perfect sourdough. They took a car apart just to see how it works and learned Sanskrit like the Buddhists and, of course, mastered the sugar arts. And the next day they did Monday's favorite things, like filing and alphabetizing. It was a lesson for every day. When you appreciate each other a little bit more, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and yes, definitely Sunday, can be brand new days where everything is possible. I must say, this is good raspberry sorbet. <laughs> I like how you brought the rhyme back, by the way. Not passe or cliche? No way, Broadway. We call it Catter Day. Wait, guys, anybody? Oh, where'd everybody go? Meow. Man, those cats kind of got the short end of the stick there, didn't they? They never got to pitch their day. It's no fun at all. So here's a question. If you could come up with a whole new day, what would your day be? And in the meantime, be sure to check out all of our Wyoming Reads videos so you can decide which book you want to take home when Wyoming Reads comes. Thanks for listening, guys, and we'll see you next time.